Trini? Yes. Is that you? It's me, honey. We're doing a bit of... Colour blocking. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic 10 out of 10, Jemima. Thank you. It is finding new colours in the wardrobe and thinking what goes with what. And it's a great opportunity for you to play with your wardrobe and find totally new outfits. And sometimes the thing about colour blocking is you think, is that taking too much risk? And I would sort of say to you, challenge yourself, take even more. Because the, the more the colours are sort of lively together and the same tonality in terms of dirtiness, brightness or mutedness, you know, those kind of three combinations that you can get of colours, the better. But sometimes you break the rules. So the perfect pairing for an acid yellow, you would imagine to be a sort of acid pink, which it would be. Yeah. But this pink, which is not, it's a little dirty as a pink, somehow what? I am wearing four-year-old Zara suit. When they used to do things true to size, and the structure was a, a sort of copy of old Balmain jackets, this shape which Balmain took from somebody else as well. But that incredible structure gives great meaning to the jacket. And I think it just feels it's more expensive than it is. The trousers are a little bit um, tight for me now. So I love the shirt that can just glide over that tightness, but I can still feel with a trainer, it feels kind of relaxed and cool and pared down. And it's fun. Color blocking. Is exactly that, Jemima. It's about fun. A lot of you will look and say, I've got lots of references I can use for my um, closet confessions. But if you're building up a wardrobe which starts with some very small basics, the two neutrals, your one favourite colour, the opposite of that favourite colour is a great place to start, and one thing that's one shade away from that colour. So if your best colour is red, all right, then I would make a wardrobe that's red, orange, and powder blue. Ooh. Because then you're going to get all these wonderful mixes and all of those things will go with white. So I'd wear the red with white. I wouldn't wear the red with black, but I'd wear the red with navy. And it's about finding the colours that bring you joy. These are colours I haven't actually worn together because you just said to me, what about red? And I just thought I don't wear red often because I find it difficult to wear. And then I thought of flags, really. Flags are very good, actually, <laughs> for seeing some contrasting colours. So I, I love this old Zara suit. And I'm red, white, and blue. <laughs> red, white, oh, yes. and blue. Um, and the pair, it's a pair in a top worn back to front, so I get the full impact of the colour. Makeup wise, I'm going to do a tiny bit of mama. Oh, I want a little hint of that red. This bright blue can go both ways, you know. It can be sometimes a very difficult colour to wear, cobalt blue, and I buy it, and I never know what else to put with it apart from white. And just the, the kind of freedom I found of, I mean, with the red, I l really love it. Let's talk highlighter pens, Lucy. Let's indeed. You know, these are Serena boots, but it's just the idea of the brightest with the brightest. So you're going the opposite sides of the color wheel, and then you're taking the brightest shade in those colors, because we could do a dirty yellow with a dirty raspberry, but this is the bright neon yellow with a really sharp pink. And then Lucy, let's say I'm deciding what I wear with it, so it wasn't enough on its own. Two options I can go down. One is, I could just do the pink route, like that. Pink is close enough in shade that it's not clashing, but it's a little bit different from the trousers, but not too different. I love the yellow just popping out and that line. I mean, that feels so unbelievably fresh to me. All my energy is coming back. I think I'll probably do silver. You I know? love that. Yeah. Because gold yeah. wouldn't work. These are bright cools. I mean, I think that's the best way to go, but I'm gonna show you if I took yellow on the top, okay, how that would work. I don't know if I have the right yellow, but Ooh. I think somewhere I have that little Zara coat. Oh. It is the same tone, you know, they, the two have a very good relationship. It's just difference in texture is giving a difference in color. That does work and probably the silver bag again. I'm just thinking, could I do a pink bag? But I don't quite know. I have. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. I mean, is it tonally correct? No. No, <laughs> it's not. You know, that's the Sorry. thing. You can tell that, but this is not. I know it's like the most incremental thing, and you'd look and you'd think, fine, but the other one was much better. Yeah, it was. Sorry. But you reminded me because that was hidden away, and now it's going to be out with my friends. I love that bag. Okay, let me do the next one. What have you got for us? Well, as Molly just said to me, kind of crazy butt. And it is kind of crazy butt. It works. It so works. And sometimes when you're doing colour blocking, 
if you can find pattern bags, and I find so many pattern bags, this one is Prada, I have found countless from Zara and different stores and Monsoon, and just, you never know what they're gonna go with, and then suddenly, the more patterned it is, the better they work for color blocking, because it's where the colors come together. Great tip. Very good. Lovely, should we see some more outfits? Yes, please! <laughs> it goes together and I'm so excited! This is my reserved sequin jacket, but happens to go really well with that green. Yeah. No, it's not the same green. Well, it's not no, the same. It's not, but can you tell me why it works? Because... I think that it's not too contrasting in tone. This is more definitely foresty, emeraldy, and this is more turquoisey, deep greeny. But there's just something fun. I think there is the shimmer running through both. Yes. Um, so I, I would do that. This just shows you how a tweak can change everything, Lucy, because this blue is the icy blue shirt. So yeah. the color I'm wearing with it is a very cool fuchsia magenta. So, you know, depending on if in your warm family or a mid or a cool, those contrasts change and tweak as well. I mean, this to me, if I look at the colors, this is much stronger. Now my hair is blonder. It's amazing how your hair, as it changes color, your clothes change so much. Lots of women talk about, I've gone gray now, what do I wear? It has such an impact. This was such a statement piece they used in their campaign, so I thought, I bought it way before I seen it in any photographs from Prada Autumn Winter, and I thought, God, it's really around. It brings me so much joy, and I will have it for years, and it's a classic take on a sort of 1950s opera coat, but in corduroy, which they never would have done with that beautiful kind of Henry VIII sleeve. And I just think it's a classic in my favorite color. Yeah, it's a beautiful sleeve. You know, when you're going to buy a really bold color, in a way, you need to be bold about having the freedom to choose colors. So I was very careful at the beginning. I thought I'll do it yellow with yellow. And then I bought these from Prada, and I thought, actually, I love that. I love that strong, mad, modern print with the coat. It just, in a way, this is a retro print and this is a retro shape, but together, it makes for a modern look. It does. It looks really cool together. And I think if you just wore black and the coat, it you'd... wouldn't be the same. No. No. And then I got my really old Zara trousers on. Oh. Yeah. It goes with so much. I think you've made it work so well in your wardrobe. <sighs> this is a colour I don't usually ever wear, which is lilac. But I always love the idea of lilac and navy. I've done Magician and Chalice, which really homages the coolness of the navy and the lilac. You know, the simplest outfit, it's that kind of silk shirt, silky skirt, and a pair of trainers. The colour is what, in a way, amplifies it up. And I'd probably do, I would probably do a silver bag, actually, because I've gone all cool. So, you know, then the silver just is a very nice, you know, kind of amplification of the lilac. This Serena Beauty, most of the silky ones are, but this is um, now Zara. And then if I was wearing a coat, oh, your horses. Oh, it's quite tight for me. But I'd probably do that. Do you think the colour's all right with it? If you have a coat you're bored with and it just is straight, consider cutting a curve. Then when you wear it with a skirt, you get that lovely opening. It doesn't, it doesn't close off your legs and then it gives the most beautiful shape. So if you've just got a plain, slightly fitted coat, make a curve. But that, I do it up and it sort of, you know, it, it just has a different place it ends. So, you know, to take an old coat that you're bored with and do this with takes work. It needs to be a coat that has a central button. That's key. And it needs to be one where the fabric will be able to cut away. This is Kinder Akachi. He used to design for Versace and he had his own label and then he stopped designing and now he designed under a different name. We'll try and find out what it is. Yeah. But his cut is beautiful. And everything is always um, lined in these polka dots. Oh, I love That's this nice. look. This is yeah, classic really with nice. a twist. I'm in a skirt. This is about Colbert and orange. You know, the orange with the turquoise worked well. And this is a slightly dirtier orange coat. And that's why to me, the Colbert, which is a darker shade and not so brighty light, works yeah. well. And it's just fresh. You know, you feel, when you start to put these clothes together in your wardrobe, Lucy, they feel more modern and cleaner, you know, and yes. sometimes just by putting these contrasting shades, it gives a real new life to your clothes. I might do an orange bag because I feel this is a blocky moment. I do like that continuation of the orange um, as one piece. On the flip of that, would you do a blue bag? 
Yes, you could, you see, couldn't you? Okay. And, yeah. and if I have to take my laptop and other things, oh. I would not hesitate to do that. So this is Zara and this is Prada. Okay. This is Serena Butte and this is Zara. And then I've got on some really high Stellas, which I wear in the summer. And what's nice is when I'm wearing a floppy wide trouser, it looks like I'm wearing a white trainer. Uh, but when the nice. trousers are kind of too long, it just doesn't make it look like I'm wearing a heel. It just makes you think, my God, her legs are so long and that's a flat shoe she's wearing. <laughs> Too long. Before we were filming this, I was feeling really flat. Let's just be honest with everyone. I was just like, I don't know if I can film one today, Lucy. Just putting on clothes and feeling the joy of having got those colors right mm -hmm. makes me feel better. Don't underestimate the power of color.